Hey, I've got seven killer fixes for you to take great pictures with an iPhone. I'm Phil Riley, 35 years of professional photographer. I am new to YouTube. This is a brand new channel, so please subscribe, hit that bell icon to get notifications of when I post new content. And please leave me a like or a comment. I'd love to hear what you think. So let's get straight in to the seven fast and free fixes you can do to make iPhone photography even better. First of all, tip number one, keep the lens clean. iPhones live in your pocket, so they're picking up dust and cotton and bits of food and you put them down on tables and you put them in your car. And guess what? The lenses get full of rubbish. So before you take your picture, just give it a wipe over and straight away, you're getting clearer images. Tip number two, when you go to take a picture of somebody, move the camera onto its side. It's a silly thing, but our brains like wide images. We're pretty programmed to that because we've got two eyes and we see the world in a wide format. And that's why wide pictures, on the whole, tend to look better. Tip number three is learn to use the editing software that's free in the iOS. Hit the editing software in the top right hand corner. You can go auto and it'll give you its idea of a good change. I always like to go on brilliant. What that does is it lifts the shadows and takes the highlights down. But of course that's lifting the black. So I'm going to take the black point, bring that in. There, bring that in nicely. The horizon's not straight, so I'm going to hit the crop tool. It's going to auto straighten it for me. Then Number four is use the exposure control. Not a lot of people know this is there. Put your finger on the screen where you want the focus to be and hold it. In a couple of seconds, a larger square will appear. And it'll say, auto focus, auto exposure lock. Then simply put your finger next to that square and you'll have the ability to change the exposure. Go up to make it lighter, down to make it darker. Choose the lighting you want, then hit that shutter button. Talking about hitting the shutter, here's tip number five. When you've got the camera like this to take a wide shot, use one of the volume controls on the side of the camera as the shutter. Simple as that. Tip number six. Now this is a biggie. Make sure that you've got the light source behind you. How many times have you been taking a picture of somebody inside a house only to find the picture of the people is really, really dark? That's probably because the window is behind them. You get turn around, put them the other side so that the window's behind you, light source behind, hey, suddenly a really well exposed picture. And last but not least, tip number seven is don't be afraid to use third party apps. I use QuickShot and Darkroom. There's a lot of free apps out there. It doesn't cost you a bead and you can have better pictures straight away. I'll open it up in QuickShot. Let's press the magic. See what happens. Okay, let's try that. Oh, that's better. We've got a nice blue sky. Let's move those clouds to where we want them. Make it a little bit warmer. Let's put a little effect over there. Take a little bit of this grass out. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button or subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have loads more photography content here soon or leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, go get your camera and go shoot some pictures.